Hi judges! Welcome to another segment of One Our Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And for today's video lesson, we will continue what we have discussed involving systems of linear and nonlinear equations. So I now have here an example number one. So for example number one, we are given x squared minus 4 is equal to y. Therefore, that is our equation number one. And let us first determine the nature of the graph of the first equation. So for the first equation, so since only one variable is being squared, we could finally say that this is a parabola. And for the second equation, since they all have an exponent one, the variable x and y contain only an exponent one therefore it takes the form of a line and this is a linear equation you could say that this is a line okay so in order for us to solve for the systems of equations if we are given this one we have three options first option is by substitution second option is by elimination or the third and the third one is by graphing so since I am given y is equal to x squared minus 4, therefore, all I am using is by substitution. Since the, the variable y is now expressed in terms of the variable x, okay? Since this is now our equation, so let's use substitution. Therefore, we substitute equation 1 to equation 2. So, therefore, we will replace all the values of y present in equation 2 okay we'll be having 2x plus what is our y our y is x squared minus 4 is equal to negative 1 okay since we have 2x plus x squared minus 4 and then this is negative 1 transpose that to the other side therefore this is positive 1 is now equal to 0 so let us arrange so that it becomes a quadratic equation, this is x squared plus 2x, negative 4 plus 1, that is negative 3, is equal to 0. This is now the time that we need to factor the terms. So if we will factor the term, therefore, this becomes x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 1 is equal to 0. In order for us to get the values of x, equate this to 0, also equate this to 0. Therefore, this is x plus 3 is equal to 0. x is equal to negative 3. One value for x. x minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to positive 1. Another value for x. Since we need a solution, therefore, all we have to do is to substitute the values of x is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to 1 to the first equation. So we have y is equal to x squared minus 4. So in that case, let us first use x is equal to negative 3. So if x is equal to negative 3, therefore y is equal to negative 3 squared minus 4. And that is y is equal to 9 minus 4, that y is equal to 5. Okay, if x is, if x is equal to positive 1, therefore y is equal to positive 1 squared minus 4, and that becomes 1 minus 4, therefore y is equal to negative 3. The first solution now is negative 3, positive 5, and the second solution now is positive 1, negative 3. Okay? So therefore, this will now be the intersection or our solution. We have two solution. So that is negative 3, 5 and positive 1, negative 3. So let us first analyze the given graph. We are given x squared minus 4 is equal to y. We could rewrite this as x squared is equal to y plus 4. This is now a parabola opening upward. And the vertex is located at 0, negative 4. So if we would be graphing this one, Okay, so if we will be graphing, we could say that this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the vertex of the parabola which is opening upward. And then let us plot the points of the intersection of a parabola and the line. Therefore, that is negative 3, positive 5, 1, 2, 3. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is one intersection. And the other inter intersection is 1, negative 3. 1, negative 3. Okay. Let us draw a line. And let us draw the parabola. It is now a parabola opening upward. The equation of the line for this one is, this is 2x plus y is equal to negative 1. And the equation of the parabola is x squared minus 4 is equal to y. Okay, so again, in order for us to solve for systems of equations, we could use elimination, substitution, and by graphing. And also, remember that those solutions will just be the intersection of the nature of the graph of the given equation. So let us now try to solve another example. Okay, so what if we are now given this example? We are given 3x minus y is equal to negative 2. And 2x squared minus y is equal to 0. Therefore, this is our equation 1, and this is our equation 2. From equation 1, we could say that, again, it is a line since it takes the form of a linear equation. And for the second one, since only one variable is being squared, therefore, again, this is a parabola. Okay? And again, we are looking for their intersection. Okay, so let us now try if we only have one intersection or two intersections. So, I will now be using this term and express this and only get the variable y. Okay, therefore, this becomes y is equal to 3x plus 2. So, this is my equation 1. Uh, it, it is from 3x minus y is equal to negative 2 transpose or transfer negative 2 to the other side and that becomes positive 2 and then transfer negative y to the other side that becomes positive y. So what we'll be doing now is to substitute equation 1 to equation 2. Since this is our equation 2, therefore all the values of y will be replaced by 3x plus 2. Okay, this becomes 2x squared minus y is equal to 0. And the value of y now is 3x plus 2. This becomes 2x squared minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, we need to distribute the negative sign. We'll be having 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, in, in this case, we're now ready to identify the factors of 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. And the factors would be 2x plus 1 times the quantity x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, same process. Equate this to 0. Equate this to 0. Therefore, if we'll be equating this to 0, this becomes 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. 2x is equal to negative 1. Divide both sides by 2. Therefore, x is equal to negative 1 half. One value of x is equal to negative one half. Let's try to get the other value. This is x minus two is equal to zero. Therefore, x is equal to positive two. So we now have two values of x. Therefore, we have two intersection. So let us now try to substitute it back to the equation of y. We have y is equal to three x plus two. If x is equal to negative one half, Therefore, y is equal to 3 times negative 1 half plus 2. Therefore, y is equal to negative 3 over 2 plus 2. Get the LCD, which is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 2 times 2 is positive 4. Negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1. Therefore, y is equal to 1 half. Okay? If x is equal to 2, therefore y is equal to 3 times 2 plus 2. Therefore, y is equal to 6 plus 2. y is equal to 8. Therefore, our solutions will now be, if x is equal to negative 1 half, y is 
equal to positive one half. If x is equal to two, y is positive eight. Therefore, let us now try to analyze the nature of the graph of the parabola. This parabola could also be written as two x squared is equal to y. Okay, since this is two x squared, we could divide both sides by 2, therefore x squared is equal to y over 2. And this parabola now is opening upward and the vertex is located at the origin. Okay, so if we will be graphing, if we will be graphing, so we have positive 2, 1, 2, and positive 8 as the value of the y, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is one point, that is 2, positive 8. And the other one is negative 1 half, positive 1 half. This is negative 1 half, positive 1 half. Okay, and since our parabola is opening upward, let us now try to draw the parabola. Okay, from the vertex. This is the parabola with the equation 2x squared minus y is equal to 0. And this is our line. Sorry for the graph. But the equation of the line is 3x minus y is equal to negative 2. Okay? And their intersection is positive 2, 8. And negative 1 half, positive one half okay i hope this is clear so this is now the answer for the systems of equations whenever you are given 3x minus y is equal to negative 2 2 x squared minus y is equal to 0 we have two solutions because they have two intersections okay and for the last example so for the last example this is the given we are given x minus y is equal to 4, x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. This is our first equation. This is our second equation. Again, let us first identify the nature of the graph of the first equation. So therefore, the nature of the graph for the first equation is just a line. Very good. It is a line. And for the second equation, since we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 16, therefore, both variables are being squared and they are multiplied by the same coefficient. We could say that this is a circle. Okay, so if we have x minus y is equal to 4, therefore, I will just use substitution. And I will now use equation 1 and get the value of x. x minus y is equal to 4, therefore, x is equal to y plus 4. And this is now our new equation 1. So what do we do now? Substitute equation 1 to equation 2. Therefore, all the values of x will be replaced by y plus 4. Okay? So since we have the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 16, therefore, the value of x is y plus 4 quantity squared plus y squared is equal to 16. Expand. So in expanding, this becomes y squared plus 8y plus 16 plus y squared is equal to 16. Since this is y squared, this is also y squared. That becomes 2y squared plus 8y plus 16. Transfer this out to the left hand of the equation. That is minus 16 is equal to 0. We cancel this out. Therefore, we're, we're, we're now, we now have y squared plus 8y is equal to 0. Since we have 2y squared and we have 8y, there is a common factor. And the common factor is just 2y. This becomes 2y times y plus 4 is equal to 0. Equate this to 0. Equate this to 0. Again, we'll be having two values for y. Therefore, to solve for y, we have 2y is equal to 0. Divide both sides by 2. Therefore, y is equal to 0 over 2, which is just 0. Okay, and for the other one, y plus 4 is equal to 0, therefore y is equal to negative 4. So let us now try to solve for the values of x. x is equal to y plus 4. If 
y is equal to 0, therefore x is equal to 0 plus 4, therefore x is equal to positive 4. If y is equal to negative 4, this now becomes x is equal to negative 4 plus 4, and x is equal to 0. Therefore, the solutions now would be 4, 0, and the other one is 0, negative 4. Okay, so we have two solutions, therefore we have two intersections. Let us now try to graph. This is a circle, therefore the center of the circle is located at the origin, and the radius is equal to the square root of 16, therefore that is equal to 4 units. Okay, so let us try to graph. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? Our intersections would be 4, 0, 4, 0, 1 intersection, 4, 0. The other intersection is 0, negative 4, 0, negative 4. So this is the other intersection. So let us try to draw the circle. Okay, so this is our circle, and the equation of the line now would be this one. Okay, this is our circle with an equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 16, and this is the line with an equation x minus y is equal to 4. And this will be their intersections 0, negative 4, and 4, 0. So this is how you solve 4 this equation for the systems of equation so you may graph this in order for you to check if your answer is correct again so we have three ways elimination substitution and by graphing so i hope you learned something from today's video tutorial and if you have questions comments and suggestions please do message me on facebook on twitter and on my instagram account once again, I am Engineer Jod Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.